for, for allowing you to, to play with us. Thank you. Thank you, Secretary Caetano. I would like to request uh, our Philippine Presidential Advisor of Sport to give us a few words. Thank you, Dad. I'd just like to congratulate again the Indonesian government for the successful hosting. And most of all, uh, wish our athletes uh, the best of luck and just to give their best and don't give up. Bring home the gold to the country. Thank you. One more message, and uh, we will call on our special uh, guest uh, tonight, uh, uh, Chairman Ramirez of the Philippine Sports Commission. Okay. Okay, so now I would like to request the Cleveland Cavalier star who almost didn't make it to the Asian Games. Let's welcome Jordan Clarkson. Okay, so now we're uh, moving forward with the question and answer. Um, maybe I'd uh, like to pass the media to, to, to uh, run the first question. Diane? And can you introduce yourself, please? I am Nelson. My first question to Jordan. Last year you played in the finals, I'll give you the highest level of basketball game. What experience did you take from there uh, last year, moving forward as a basketball player? And my second question would be, uh, you are one of the shortest of the biggest players that have played in the game. What do you think uh, makes you able to be in the shortest of players? Um, so, first question. It was my first time ever playing past April. So it was able to play the playoffs while I was there. So it was a new experience for me to be able to learn. Uh, that's another level of basketball, another level of play. Another level just to take care of your body. Uh, just doing, kind of doing the right thing. So definitely it was all a learning experience for me. I just had a you know, great experience. I made it all the way to the finals. Tough fight for the Warriors. We didn't end up like we wanted to, but at the same time, it was just a great experience for me. We never played along with LeBron, JR, Tristan, Kevin, you know, guys that have been there, guys that won championships and know how to win. Just going through that whole process was just great. And, uh, the, second, the second question, um, I would say it was just, you know, just hard work. Determination. Uh, that's what it is. A lot of time put in. That's what it is. That's how I got here, got to the NBA. That's what you watch for. Hi there, uh, Andrew Marzel from AFP. Um, Jordan, if you did uh, win a gold medal with the Philippines here, uh, how would that uh, rank amongst your career achievements? Probably. Uh, not the top achievement I've done playing this game just because I know it means a lot to 
country to everybody. So just playing in the game, uh, it already means a lot to me. You know, this whole process already has been uh, just a great experience for me. You know, even from day one, you know, getting off the plane, just kind of meet, meeting and getting around my teammates. You know, it just, just felt good. So uh, definitely, you know, placing, getting a medal, no, it'll be, be amazing, it'll be amazing to you. I, mean, I might just ask one more. Um, do you, this has been presented as a one-off exception by the NBA. Would you like to see the NBA do more in the future to allow you to take part in more tournaments? Uh, I think so. I think, uh, you know, there's a lot, lot, lot going on over here in Asia. It's definitely going to help the, the game uh, spread more. Just being able to, you know, for them to even let me play is, is a blessing. I know we went back and forth. Uh, I had to jump on a plane the next day, uh, like a few hours, knowing that they feared me. Uh, but I think they get the point. They get that it's a lot of you know fans, a lot of people are passionate about basketball in all of Asia. So uh, just being able to come here, uh, I think it's a step forward for them. And, uh, you know, it's a, it's a great league, but you know it's uh, it's a lot of players everywhere around the world. Uh, this game is kind of Forming culture, you know, it's uh, it's people, including myself, including a lot of people in the NBA from situations that um, I wouldn't say consider bad, but um, just taking people from situations to another another place, you know, kind of giving them a place of freedom, a place where they can express themselves. So I think the game is uh, just evolving in terms of that, in terms of all over the world. So. I feel like you see a lot more kids picking up a basketball. I know soccer is still kind of a big, big sport, but if soccer's up there, I feel like basketball is right underneath because it's not football that you know, kids are playing here. What we call, what we call football, you know, helmets uh, in America, but uh, you know, people ain't strapping up helmets and going out there and you know, hitting each other on the field over here in Asia and stuff. I feel like they're picking up a basketball more. So I feel like the NBA is starting to get that and you know, allowing us to do more things. You know, it's a blessing for that. Okay, uh, next question, please. Uh, yeah. uh, uh, George, uh, Stephen Wayne from Associated Press. What was your experience carrying a flag that pretty much put the exact more drilling on the NBA panel and more drilling on the NBA Basketball here? Um, it's up there, definitely. Uh, I haven't seen something like that uh, ever. So just being able to, I didn't know it was that many people there. I didn't know how big the, the Asian game just really was until you know I kind of came out that tunnel. And, uh, just feeling the reaction, feeling that. Even before, I already knew it was an honor to you know, carry the flag and represent the country. But coming out there, it's probably been one of the happiest moments I've had in my career and in my life. So just being able to experience that uh, is definitely a blessing. Uh, I had a, a great time. And, you know, just seeing everybody's faces, how, how happy everybody was, and, and how well, motivated and every, everything, you know, from the softball team to everybody. It was just a, a great experience, a great feeling for me. So uh, it was an honor. Thank you. Uh, next is uh, Dan Castellio, a recipient. Jordan, thank you for staying with, uh, with the whole process and being here. It was, uh, you made a lot of people happy. And it's wonderful to hear that, you, that it's important to you that you, know, you see Filipinos smiling, a lot of people. Looking up to the game, uh, looking ahead to the game against China. So our team is really, really high because of you being there. Uh, what do you think? Or what, what do you guys need to do Really pull off the win, which I know you want. Compete, step on the floor, treat it like it's any other game. You can't say it's China, you can't say it's anybody across from us. We got to worry about ourselves and go out there and execute our game plan. Do what coach tells us to do, move the ball, score the ball, play fast. And that's it. That's, that's the goal. Kind of build a future stuff with us, 
growing in terms of me being on the team and uh, just kind of learning everything. Uh, our practice has been really good, intense uh, these last few days. So us growing as a team is, uh, is, a, is a main goal. Uh, what I see more than anything, uh, I feel like we got enough talent, we got enough guys that have spirit, have heart, but we can go out and compete, uh, really play to so, uh, win a medal. Nice to say that uh, uh, you're uh, you're looking for the team to grow, so each you're going to be with us for a while. Yeah, I'm not going anywhere else. So <laughs> I'm already uh, I'm here. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Next question. Yes. I see that your dad and your mom are here. Um, how has your dad influenced? Uh, my dad, yeah, uh, um, I mean, he influenced a lot. You know, him just, uh, just watching him, me growing up, uh, just seeing, you know, his fight. Always, you know, fighting for the best for everybody. Not even only only myself, but everybody around him. That's, that's kind of really what shaped me as who I am today. Uh, you know, I see how much he, he cares about others. People around the community. Uh, I, could, I have like one of my best friends with me. Uh, you know, he's always cared for him like like he's you know, a son. You know, that goes for our whole group of you know friends that we grew up in our community. So uh, it wasn't about where you know where we was from, what was around us. Uh, we kind of all just focused on each other, and you know, that's what helped me kind of get to where I'm at uh, in terms of making it to the NBA. I had a real real solid uh, core group of friends that all pushed me to, to being who I am today. And as well as my dad, I seen him fight for us. So that's how uh, I am who I am today. A caring person, I fight for what I love for. And that's how I'm all in. Okay, thank you. Next question. Jordan, for sure on Tuesday against China, all eyes are going to be on you. And it's not every day that the Philippine team gets to play with an NBA player. And for sure there will be pressure. How do you look at that pressure? And also the second question is, what does it mean for you to play for the Philippines? I don't think it's no pressure for anybody, for any of the guys. Just being able to step on the floor. Uh, if you say I, all eyes, and you said it was going to be on me, but I don't think so. You know, we got a, a lot of a team full of players that ready to come out there and compete. And uh, you know, I feel like the guys are ready. So you know, they, what they did in that first game uh, was amazing. You know, I really see the talent level of the team. So I've been around the game. I've been around the NBA. And I see you know players. I think we have a solid group. They're really confident each other. So in terms of you know eyes being on me. We all together in this. Uh, we come to win, we come to fight. And what was the second question? What does it mean for you to play for the Philippines? Uh, same thing, it's an honor. Just being able to get here, to even get cleared, it was an honor, period. Uh, I actually told my agent, I was like, uh, and I'm coming, the only way I'm coming in is if I'm playing. Man. I can't come and sit no more. Like really just it's urging me and making me angry. So uh, I was like, the only way I'm getting on that plane is if I'm playing and I'm super in that uniform. So uh, just being able to represent the country, that's how, how passionate I was. And, uh, you know, I was tired of just sitting there, tired of being, you know, tired. You know, after that, it's like, after being told no so many times, you just, just you want to give up, but we, you know, we kept fighting. That's what it's all about. So I'm here now, ready to compete. Now it's time to fight on the court and uh, go for the wings. Okay, uh, I have one question here. Yes, please. Hello, Jordan. I come from China, and my question is about uh, um, you know, we have two, also have two NBA players in China that. Uh, you have the 
big game the day after tomorrow. Yeah, what do you know the two Chinese and the Korean well that uh, was a common for them? And and the second question is, do you think Team China will be the strongest opinion in the Asian game for you? Thank you. Um, I would say just to the, uh, the Chinese players that are in the NBA being able to you know, for us to play. It's just a blessing again, you know, the NBA giving us that, you know, go ahead to be able to play in this. Uh, like I said, the game stretches from, from all over the country now. So uh, just being able us to represent our country in something like this uh, is definitely you know, another blessing. So just having that uh, in mind, you know, come out here, represent, play hard, compete, get out on the floor. Uh, you know, those are high, 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 high talent. Global guys, so just being able on court with them is going to be a, a good experience. Uh, it's going to make it a good game. It's going to be exciting as well. So, what I can say, uh, it's just, it's just, man, it's just an honor for being able to play. So, uh, but what was your second question? Uh, my second question is about what do you think Team China in Asia game this time? Because we have two NBA players. <laughs> <laughs> the team has won. And you think Team China will be the strongest team for you to win the gold medal? Thank you. Um, what's a lot of teams? You know, I got a, well, an old college teammate. He didn't play with me, but he was there before. Uh, that plays on Korea. Um, I know they're really strong as well. So uh, and it's a lot of other teams as well. I ran, played against a couple guys um, in college. I would say. Uh, Kazimi and guys like that. So it's a lot of talented teams uh, that are all in this Asian game. So being able to come here and compete uh, is just uh, you know, another blessing just for all of us to be here. There's going to be some high level basketball. Just being able to do that, uh, we'll see. Okay, next question. Thank you. Uh, Randy? Just to lighten up things, uh, I'd like to ask you, Jordan. What are the things that will always remind you of your being a Filipino? Filipino. What? Some things that will always remind you of be, of you being a Filipino. Um, just my whole experiences, you know, being over in you know, the country. Every, every time I come over, there's so much love and support, and you know, it's an hour with the NBA schedule, especially this year, be going all the way to the finals. Um, but still, every day I wake up. Check my phone, you know, Instagram, Twitter, you know, Filipinos always showing love. And, uh, you know, it's just amazing feeling just being able to come over here and now compete and represent. But uh, that's a, that's a big thing that's always reminded me. Uh, every day I'm waking up, I can wake up at two o'clock in the morning in the state to check my phone and somebody talking about Laban and Filipinas. <laughs> so. Uh, so it's, uh, it's always love felt, uh, it's just amazing. Okay, last two questions. Uh, just a few days ago, it's decided you can participate in the Asian game, just a few days ago. And the, how uh, could you tell me you were feeling when you were waiting for the good answer? you can participate in take part in this game and how do did you prepare uh, well i've been working out all summer getting ready for the nba season so uh, i didn't know what was going on uh, i was first up they said i could come and they said i didn't couldn't come we had a flight book and we had to cancel that flight so it was a long process um i had a few hours to pack just kind of got on, got on the plane and you know, took off. And, uh, you know, it's, it, it's definitely been a long process. But I've been preparing for the NBA season, so I'm in shape, ready to go. Um, just getting here, being able to have these days to practice with the team is you know, get them prepared for the, for the games that are coming up. So kind of happy we had these days to you know, kind of get familiar with the team, familiar with the coaches. <coughs> so just being here is a, it's a blessing. Okay, uh, yes, uh, 
last two questions. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, right now, kind of getting my hands dirty with doing the work, trying to win the medal. But uh, maybe sometime I've been uh, in Cerebi uh, about a year and a half ago, two, two years ago. Uh, we're in a camp there. Uh, I know there's a lot of fans over here that I, I have a great time coming over here. But you know, they you know, open the book of arms every time I come over here. So I definitely like to spend time over here. Yeah, well, I have some time up here in Nice Island. Maybe I could, uh, maybe we all could go on a vacation every day. I've been working hard too. Okay, Junior Mingo. Okay, question. Yes, may I ask uh, our PLC president and our PLC chairman? Uh, yeah, this afternoon or the evening we had 